Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, hi, hello, my name is Lauren. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about 10 different topics or ideas that you can post on your social media for your small business. I get people all the time in the comments who are like, I wanna post on social media, but I just don't know what to post. So that is why we are making today's video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Idea number one is making behind the scenes of you working. This is a really great way to show people what you do on a daily basis and kind of what it looks like behind the scenes. This could be you or your workers at your shop, even if it's just you doing a little bit of computer work or making phone calls or searching for new products or sourcing for different materials. These are all things that I think are super interesting. People love to see the behind the scenes of. You could basically sit down and film one clip of you doing just a small portion of what you do in your day, speed that clip up and then put some important or inspirational text over top and it's a really great way to make a quick video for when you're not feeling like making content or when you need to get something up quick. Idea number two is to make a day in the life vlog. People love to see day in the life of a small business owner, whether you're doing this on YouTube, which is really big right now and you could literally grow such a huge following so quickly if you did these, TikTok and on Instagram and even over on Pinterest as well. People really like to see that behind the scenes. They wanna see what you're doing on a day in and day out basis. Even if you're a small business that doesn't do it full time and maybe you just work on it part-time on the weekend, showcase your little clips throughout the week and the little pieces and tidbits that you get to do throughout your week or on your weekends. People find this kind of stuff really interesting. I typically like to do these where Basically, I pull my phone out throughout the day and I just grab quick little shots of what I'm doing in that moment. These can be just fast little videos that you take. There really don't have to be anything too extensive or you don't have to record for a long period of time. I then will clip them all together using an app like InShot. This is a great one for editing videos on your phone. After I'm done clipping all of the videos over, what I would usually do is actually make a voiceover for it. So I would record my voice over top of the video just explaining and going through the different days. The third type of content you can make is actually showcasing your process. So if you are hand making an item or you make items in general for your shop, or even if you have like a design work aspect to your business, I would highly recommend showing that process to people. There are a lot of great small business owners out there who showcase them designing the artwork for their business or show them actually creating the product, which is incredibly cool. Oftentimes people think that if you put this type of video out there that everyone will then make your business and steal your ideas and that is honestly not true at all. People just really enjoy seeing the process of creating something, especially in a small business type of setting because they like to know that their item was handmade by you. Number four is showcasing a time when you had a great business success or even when you had a big failure in your business. These types of story type videos do really well on TikTok I've found and there are a couple of people who I've noticed do really well at it. Basically explain some sort of big leap or crazy thing that they did for their business and how it ended up turning out, whether it was good or bad. And people find these stories really compelling and for some reason it draws a lot of people in and brings in interest. And honestly, if you can tie that story into something that you are launching or about to sell and kind of encourage the sale of a product while you're at it, you're gonna be doubly successful because people love this. For example, there was a business that I saw as a planner business I believe her name is Elise. Follow her on Instagram and she's really great. She's based out of Durham, North Carolina. She owns a really great business where she designs all of her artwork and then she places it on different products. So she started out doing planners and notebooks. And so she would tell a story basically where she ordered tens of thousands of notebooks and they came misprinted. And so she would tell people, I had this big, huge mistake happen in my business. Here's what happened. Here's the story behind it. Now I'm going to list these on my website for sale if you want to buy them at a discounted rate because now she has all this product that she's left with and she wants to sell it obviously which is a smart thing to do. So not only is she getting to make an engaging story that people can kind of relate to or find interesting but then she's also turning around and she's actually getting a product to sell from that story. So a win-win and these do amazing. <laughs> the fifth type of content that I would recommend creating is any kind of trending audio or just a general trend at all. 
well. This is something that you can kind of just pick up from consuming content from other small business owners. So if you're a small business owner, I would follow a bunch of other small businesses on your Instagram or your TikTok and see what type of content they're creating. And if you see a sound that is repeated over and over again, it's probably trending. See how you can recreate a video using that trending sound as it relates to your business or your product. And same for just general trends. Sometimes trends are not necessarily based off of just a piece of audio, but they're based off of doing something or doing some type of trend or doing some type of funny movement, things like that. See how you can take that trend and apply it over to your business. Those types of videos do really well. They're great when you need to come up with something on the fly or you feel like you don't have the time or creativity to think of something unique. They're really great. Usually what I'll do is just scroll through my Instagram reels or I will scroll through TikTok until I find something that looks entertaining and relatively easy to make and then go with that. Number six would be showcasing a product. So this could be a new product that you're launching. Maybe you want to show a sneak peek of what something looks like or maybe you only want to show a little tiny portion of it so it's still kind of hidden. You could also do this for your favorite products if people want to know that. You could do certain categories. You could do an aesthetic. You could kind of do a theme of what products I would give to XYZ character in a show or a movie. Just a way to promote and push whatever products that you're trying to currently move. Sometimes this could literally just be as simple as finding a cute or funny audio that's look at this cute thing that I made and then it's literally just you panning over the cute products that you made. Those kind of sounds are a lifesaver and those kind of videos still do really well on social media too and they're quick and easy. Number seven is a product education video. Product education is really important especially if you have a unique product that people maybe aren't that educated on how to use properly. This would be a great way to show people different ideas of how to use your product, how to use it properly, how to maintain or care for it, something along those lines. Let's say that you were someone who created wood crafting projects. Maybe you could do an educational video on how to care for the wood as it gets older, or maybe what types of foods or things you could eat on there, or how to get rid of maybe a stain that would appear on the wood and things like that so that people are aware of how to use their product and they can make it last longer. Number eight would be packaging orders. People love this, you guys. It's fun. It's so fun to watch other people pack orders. And honestly, people really enjoy a couple variations of this. People sometimes like a sped up version. So all the clips are kind of just like sped up and you're packing a bunch of orders all at once. Or people really like voiceovers on this as well. So you might be talking about who the order is for, what they ordered, etc. Or people really sometimes just like the ASMR version, which basically you don't talk and you don't add any noise video or like sounds on the background of the video. You literally just let them hear the noises of you like packing up the order. So like the crinkling of the tissue paper or the pushing of the bag or the pulling off of tape or just like the different items clinking together. People love that stuff. And what's great about these types of videos, you don't have to package a bunch of orders in one video. You can literally just do one. And even if you are a small business that is just getting started, pack some orders for literally nobody and then take it all out. I mean, literally like it's just a great way to practice and to also show people what your packaging looks like. And they might even eventually place an order and then see their order getting packed, which is cute too. Number nine would be some more personable stories or experiences. This is a really great way to build your brand and business if you show your face a lot for it. So it's a good way to connect to people and kind of communicate on a different level that's not as professional. So this might be you bringing up your opinions or thoughts on a subject or maybe sharing a personal story or sharing a little bit of behind the scenes in your regular life kind of outside of the business as well or even how the business affects your personal life and what things it allows you to do. And again, a really, really great way for people to connect with you personally and connect you in your face to your business and brand, which is a really important thing in this day and age, especially with small businesses. And number 10 is to 
actually share your workspace. This is something that intrigues a lot of people online. They like to see where you work, what is on your workspace, like what your essentials are, what you have there. They like to see you clean it if it's messy, maybe tidying it all up. There's literally a person on TikTok who is at their candle making company, I believe. They constantly have to clean their like wax containers where they keep their melted wax. So people love watching them like clean the workspace and show that. That's a really funny example of that. Literally those types of videos, you would be so shocked and they can be relatively easy to make for your business and people love them. You could make this a really interesting topic that you share and talk about. Like you could show them five things you wouldn't expect to see in my workspace as a small business owner. Or you could say 10 essentials I have to have in my workspace as a small business. You could show them you literally cleaning your space if it got super messy and crazy and hectic from a busy day and then tidying it all up. Or you could even show them like adding new shelves or chairs or a new desk or accessories into your office. Those are all great examples of different ways that you could showcase your workspace. I would just like rotate between those and every now and then like do updates on those types of things because people love that too. One of the things I recommend with any of these video ideas is that you take these pieces of content as kind of your main ideas and then take that and repeat it. Repeat it constantly. If you are making five to six pieces of content a week for your small business, rotate it. Rotate it between all of these different topics so it feels like you're not creating the same thing every single day and people are getting new and interesting content on your social media as well. Question of the day for you guys. What is your social media handle for your small business? Whether it's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or Pinterest, leave it down below in the comments so we can all go and follow each other and send some love and support to all our other small business friends. Right here on the screen for you guys, I'm going to link another video I think you'll find helpful, as well as an entire playlist full of other small business related tips and tricks. And down here, you're gonna find my subscribe button so you guys can stick around for more videos. And without further ado guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.